What's up, CUS youth? Welcome to another week of Bible stories with Ben. This time, we're gonna be tackling my favorite story of the Bible, Cain and Abel. Just kidding. This should not be anyone's favorite story of the Bible. This is the first murder, okay? But let's get right into it. We're gonna be reading from Genesis chapter four, one through seven. Um, this says, now Adam uh, knew his wife Eve and she became pregnant. When she gave birth to Cain, she said, with the Lord's help, I produced a man. Can you imagine how shocking that would be to have the first baby? All of a sudden you just get really fat and you just don't know what's going on and something's kicking you from inside. I don't know if you think you're like have an alien living inside of you or what, but all of a sudden that thing comes out too, like nine months later and it's super painful. I would have no idea what was going on. I'm sure God probably gave them a little more guidance than that though. I'm sure he was like, hey, here's the thing. Um, you're gonna have a baby inside of you. Don't ask me how, like I don't have time to explain it, but it's gonna be super painful. <laughs> I don't know. But I just think that would be shocking Later, she gave birth to his brother and named him Abel. When they grew up, Cain and Abel, Abel became a shepherd while Cain cultivated the ground. When it was time for the harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. Aww. Abel also brought a gift, the best, the best portions of the firstborn lambs from his flock. Totally one-upped his brother. Kind of like, not a great, like, kind of a tool move, but you know, whatever. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but he did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry and he looked dejected. Why are you so angry? The Lord asked Cain. Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right, but if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you, but you must subdue it and be its master. So Cain feels jealous and angry toward Abel because uh, God looked on Abel's gift as more favorably. He doesn't really know what to do in this situation. I mean, think, think about this. They're, they're like the first family. They, they don't have a whole lot of, they probably don't have a great education system. You know, how, how is he supposed to know what he's supposed to do when he feels this way, um, except for just go to God, right? But he doesn't do that. He, he decides he's gonna do something else. One day, Cain suggested to his brother, let's go out into the fields. And while they were, the, when, when, while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. It's messed up. Afterward, the Lord asked Cain, where's your brother? Where's Abel? And obviously God knows. I don't know, Cain responded. Uh, am I my grandmother's gardener? I don't, I don't know, he was, he was here this morning. But the Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground, which has swallowed your brother's blood. No longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Yay! I mean, he did murder a guy. Cain replied to the Lord, my punishment is too great for me to bear. You have banished me from the land and from your presence. You have made me a homeless wanderer. Anyone who finds me will kill me. The Lord replied, no, for I will give a sevenfold punishment to anyone who kills you. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain to anyone who might try to kill him. So Cain left the Lord's presence and settled in the land of wandering east of Eden. So Cain commits the first murder, but like last week, God doesn't abandon. Just like he didn't aban abandon Adam and Eve, he actually gives Cain a mark so that people can't murder him. Cain finds a wife, Cain settles in another land, and he actually uh, has a family there. He actually builds and creates a city. I just think it's so cool that even murderer, even Cain, uh, committed such this horrible thing and God still loved him. God still uh, was with him and didn't just abandon him. He had to cast him out from his family. Like it was serious consequences. There was justice there, but he still didn't leave him. He could have just struck him down and killed him, but he chose not to. Um, and again, we're just seeing like the grace and love of God and love of Jesus, even here in the very beginning of the Bible. I think that's something really beautiful there. Also something to note is Cain was concerned that people wherever he was going would kill him, which means there were other people. So we don't know if, that, does that mean that God had created other people besides Adam and Eve since he created them? I don't know, but there were other people out there at, by, by this time already. Um, so interesting stuff. All right, you guys, that was the story of Cain and Abel and the first murder. Thank you for watching. Check out next week when we're gonna look at the story of Noah's Ark. <laughs>